Many transformers, like these ones, can be reverse fed and used to step the voltage up. But there are some limitations and drawbacks to reverse feeding. In this video, we're talking about reverse feeding. Now the reason you can reverse feed a transformer is that the direction the current flows in any AC electrical system changes 60 times per second. That's what AC, or alternating current, means. So it's a little confusing to say that you're reversing a transformer, since the power is technically being reversed 60 times per second. And what you are reversing is not the direction of the current, but rather you're reversing what you're treating as your primary voltage and which side you're treating as your secondary voltage. The primary side is the side you feed the power supply into, and the secondary side is the side that you connect to. If the primary voltage is higher than the secondary voltage, you've got a step-down transformer. And if the primary voltage is lower than the secondary voltage, you've got a step-up transformer. It's really that simple. And in theory, the electrical system doesn't care which is which, as far as the transformer is concerned. And with that said, there are a couple of important things to consider when reverse feeding. The first is to make sure the transformer has a neutral where you need it. Example, let's say you have a 208 volt system in your building, and you need to step the voltage up to 480 volts. And the transformer you have is a common 480 volt delta down to 208 Y120 step down transformer. Now you can use this transformer to step up to 480, but remember that it's connected delta on the 480 side, meaning there's no neutral. So you won't get any single phase 277 power on the secondary. You'll only have 480, three phase, three wire, which might work for some simple three wire motor loads, but you'll have a problem if what you need is 480, four wire for both 480 and single phase 277. The second thing to consider when reverse feeding is what the electrical inspector is wanting to see. The official NEC language says that it permits a transformer to be fed from the secondary as long as the installation complies with the manufacturer's instructions. So, at least at the time of filming this video, there's nothing in the NEC that directly prohibits reverse feeding. But, your electrical inspector may decide that they want to see some language on the transformer nameplate like suitable for step-up operation or rated for bidirectional use before approving the installation. You should also consider that when you reverse feed a transformer, you will lose the ability to use the voltage taps on the unit. This means that you can't adjust the primary voltage rating to accommodate for high or low supply voltage. Lastly, you want to think about inrush current, which is the amount of current that the transformer draws when initially energized. When reverse feeding a transformer, the inrush current can be up to 16 times greater than in a step down transformer, which could result in nuisance tripping. The greater the KVA, the greater the inrush, which is why we recommend you only reverse feed transformers 75 KVA and below. Now for all these reasons, our recommendation is that you buy a purpose-built step-up transformer instead of trying to reverse feed. There's not a big cost difference and you'll know for certain that the inspector is not gonna reject it. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to get smarter about transformers. If you like this video, check out this one on transformer taps and tap changers. 